Hi everyone, welcome back to a weekly math video and this video today is a typical question asked in a calculus class. Hi, I'm Christy. I am a math teacher, actually a calculus teacher, and also a private math tutor. And a lot of times, because I'm a math teacher and also a tutor, I know a lot of the questions that come up in typical math classes. And this is one that is worth reminding students of in a calculus class, and it's about whether a particle is speeding up or slowing down. So in this video, I'm going to walk through an example and then stick around because after this example, I'm going to summarize kind of how to tell in general with any problem whether a particle, an object, or any object that they're talking about in the situation is speeding up or slowing down. And I hope you're gonna find this video useful and if you did, make sure to give it a like and go ahead and subscribe and comment below because it allows other students to see this video and benefit from this content as well. So in this problem, we're going to talk about whether a particle is speeding up or slowing down. So we have a particle that moves along the x-axis so that at time t is greater than or equal to zero, its velocity is given by this v of t equation. And we want to determine if the particle is speeding up or slowing down at t equals two, so at a time of two. All right, so the correct way to approach a problem like this, where you wanna know if a particle or an object is speeding up or slowing down, you want to compare the signs of velocity and acceleration at the time value given. So when I say compare the signs, you wanna see if the signs are positive or negative, if they're both positive or both negative, or whether one is positive and one is negative. So let's see what happens in this example. The first thing we need to find is we need to find v of two. This will tell us what is the sign of velocity at a time of two. That means we simply need to replace the t with a two and do the arithmetic here to see what it's equal to. This will be negative two times eight minus 10 plus four. So we've got a negative 16 minus 10 plus four. I can already see that this number will be negative, which is really what you care about. But if we do want to get the exact value, negative 26 plus four would give us negative 22. So I'm going to conclude that the velocity at a time value of two is negative, is less than zero. So what does that mean in terms of the particle direction? When the velocity is less than zero or negative, that means the particle is moving to the left. The next thing we have to figure out is the acceleration at a value of two. The way that we find acceleration is acceleration is going to be the derivative of velocity. So we need to find the derivative of v of t. For this, we are going to use power rule. If you'd like to see a video that I recorded about finding derivatives, click here to see that video. So the derivative of velocity is going to be negative six t squared minus five. And now we need to see what is the sign of acceleration at the time of two. So for that, we need to find a of two, be negative six times two squared minus five, or negative six times four minus five, which would be negative 24 minus five, or negative 29. So it looks like a of two is also less than zero or a negative number. That means the object, or in this case, the particle is accelerating to the left because the acceleration is negative. Because both velocity and acceleration are negative, this is going to mean your particle is speeding up because they are both working in the negative direction or to the left when we're talking about a particle moving along the x-axis. So my answer is the particle is speeding up because v of two is less than zero and a of two is less than zero, or they are both negative. 
All right, so now I would like to summarize in general for any problem how to determine if an object or a particle is speeding up or slowing down. And for that, we need to compare the signs of velocity and acceleration. So if at a specific time value, if velocity is negative and acceleration at that given time value is negative, the particle is speeding up. And we saw that in the last example. Also, if velocity is positive and acceleration is also positive, again, the particle is speeding up. So whenever acceleration and velocity have the same sign, that means your particle will be speeding up. However, if your velocity at a given time value is negative and the acceleration at the same time value is positive, that means your particle is slowing down. The reason that is is because your particle with a velocity that's negative is moving to the left, but the acceleration is in the direction to the right. And so I like to think of them as working against each other. So that means your particle will be slowing down. Similarly, if velocity was positive and acceleration at the given time value was negative, same thing, they would be working against each other, so the particle would be slowing down. I hope this screen right here is a very good summary of knowing whether a particle or an object is speeding up or slowing down. And just a reminder, you need to compare the signs of velocity and acceleration to determine the answer to that question. I really hope you found this helpful, and if you did, it really helps other students find this video if you give it a like or give it a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so that you can see other weekly math videos. I hope you have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye!